I'm Kristen Sims, and this is the Hawthorne Video Active Report. Why pay expensive actors to be in your commercials when you can hire real people to deliver a much more compelling message? Steinmart knew what they were doing when they recruited their customers through Facebook to talk about their favorite merchandise from the store on their TV commercials. The end of the spot asked other customers to upload their love at first find videos onto the website. To cover all their bases, they even armed their staff with digital cameras so that they could ask local shoppers, what have you found today? See top screen two for the Steinmart website. Fall is in the air. That means football, pumpkins, and the new fall TV lineup. For those die-hard couch potatoes, CBS has launched a fall preview iPad app. Polly Parrett, the forensic specialist of NCIS, is the app's featured guide. The app allows users an up-close look at CBS's five new shows, with previews, behind-the-scene videos, photo galleries, a calendar integration feature, and a memory challenge. If you are iPadless, you can still visit Top Screen 3 for exclusive content, videos, games, and blogs. Many technology stories we report here on HVR are sometimes so incredible that they sound like harebrained ideas from the future. Nothing, however, can beat the breakout story on Nike's newest shoe, the 2011 Mag. Inspired by Marty McFly's kicks on the hit movie, Back to the Future 2, these shoes are actually available to the public for a high price, but a good cause. The launch of these iconic shoes involved an elaborate combination of promotions, from a large event at Universal Studios to dozens of influential footwear bloggers buzzing the internet and a tweeting frenzy over a photo of the shoes to a BackForTheFuture.com website launch. Top Screen 4 reminds us that futuristic movies are unnecessary when the future is here and now. This episode will be our last. Hawthorne Direct, HVR's publisher, made the tough decision to bring HVR to an end so they can focus their new media vision in other areas. But certainly expect great new media, video active work, and innovative ideas from the Hawthorne team. We've had a great run of 477 episodes, having gone on the net on August 18, 2006 first as DR Labs, and later as a video active report. We covered some fun stories like the Domino's infamous YouTube videos from troublemaking employees, the very beginnings of iPad mania, and the very viral Old Spice Man. We will miss all of our devoted followers and viewers. Please continue to follow us at www.hawthorneblog.com and at Tim Hawthorne on Twitter. Visit Top Screen 5 for an HVR blast from the past. For Hawthorne Direct, I'm Kristen Sims. <laughs>